Hi guys, it's day one. I'm back at Old Allen's with my good friend Sam, and we're here for a couple of days. I arrived about an hour ago. Um, we've sat on the bill already, but anyway, I'm going to uh, capture some of this on video. Um, we've got sort of the rest of the day and tomorrow, but I'll get the first day and see where we go from here. As I'm back in my bongo, and that's my bed for the night. I'll go in. I'm sleeping downstairs this time around. See if it's a bit warmer, but that's all me made up ready to uh, bed down tonight after a few beers. Sam is over there now, put this tent up. It's incredibly windy at this point, so uh, I can't leave any uh, sound on. But it was at the top of Beacon Hill. Um, behind us is Checkers, where one of the Prime Minister's homes. So we climbed to the top of the hill, um, showed me how out of condition it was actually. But the views from the top were absolutely fantastic. Really, really impressive. So sorry I couldn't leave the original sound, but uh, it was too windy. Seeing something. Stampede. Like one of them. What's that? Walking through a field full of sheep and something startled them. Andy, yeah. Shannon of the Wiltshire Man, Why well worth that? checking out, yeah. and uh, he can talk us through his setup. So, Great uh, to meet you. To you uh, first time I met you actually, but I know I watched your videos, and uh, you know it's, it's, it's great to meet you. Well, this is my my tarp. It's a Sargasso tarp from Tenth Wonder. Uh, and when I first got into Hamilton, I had a, 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 a an British Army basher, and it, it wasn't long enough. Uh, so I, I, I then bought this. Now this is only a really uh, good for sort of. Summertime, I suppose, really. If you get a strong wind, it could blow underneath. That's my tarp. And unlike Pete Mind Wise Man, I always use knots. <laughs> <laughs> There's Pete over there, by the way. My ears are burning. <laughs> now, Pete is a great inspiration to me. Wonderful inspiration. Uh, because I, I, I used to do a bit of wild camping when I was a youngster. And then I, I would occasionally go out every now and again. And then when I got into YouTube, the first person I really found was Pete, and he was going out, and he really inspired me tremendously. So I got a lot of respect for Pete. But anyway, going up the, the guy lines, I use this thing called the Farrimon friction hitch, uh, which is a, a very good hitch. It's, it's, it basically undoes and, it, and leaves no wrap. It's a very simple hitch to do. Just basically double your knot back on itself, go round two or three times, go around the other side, and that is it. And then that's a adjustable knot and a locking knot. And that's what I use to support my tarp. Now going back to the setup of the camp, uh, I've got a 10th wonder DD hammock, which is just about okay for me. Uh, anyone that's a bit taller than me, say sort of if you're approaching six foot, it's probably a bit small. Uh, but 
I get away okay in that. Uh, inside that I've got a lightweight down summer sleeping bag, which I tend to use as a quilt. That gives me, uh, it, it, it's more, more efficient at trapping your heat that way. Um, because underneath I've got the snug pack um, under blanket. I was going to say snug pack on it somewhere, but maybe on the other side it says snug pack. So that's, that's really the setup. Um, I use clove hitches. These are all adjustable and again quick release. Very, very simple to do. And uh, a water knot loop up there which I tied myself. And this is uh, just an ordinary climbing tape. And again, uh, event knots this end, taut line hitches the other. Uh, and that's how I rigged my, uh, my hammock setup. Thank you, that's Andy. You're welcome. Well, the lesson's Pete. Hi there. And uh, what's the name of your channel, Pete? Mindwise Man. Mindwise Man. AKA Maverick Outdoors. Cool. Uh, what brought me over here was this lovely tent. Would you like to tell the uh, story yeah, about this Yeah, sure, mate. This, uh, I've had this since I was eight years old. And uh, I use it with Cub Scouts, went camping when I was a kid, before um, the internet was sort of kids' entertainment and what have you. So you watch kids' programs and we was out. So I used to use this fishing. Uh, just anywhere I used to go outdoors and I, I thought I'd lost it and the last time this was used was about 35 years ago and um, some of my younger relatives um, when I was sort of like older had used this to camp out in the garden and what have you but it was stored away when I had to move house and I thought I'd lost it and I discovered it about a year ago so I was like a kid in Toys R Us so uh, this is the first time I would have used it myself in over 35 years so I'm looking forward, it's going to be a bit nostalgic, it's pretty small but uh, this is real sort of um, old school wax cotton, typical sort of ridge A shape with the walls. So it's a bit like a Boy Scout tent. So, uh, but the company that made this were British, but they don't uh, exist anymore. So this is real old school stuff. So yeah, see you folks. First, folks. Cool. Cheers. Yes, Pray for rain as well. Yeah. Unusual <laughs> kind of request, but yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely old camera tent. That's it. Cheers. I'd like to welcome the air. Um, Sandy's kindly. And my GoPro onto his drone and get the aerial footage. So we'll see that in a minute. Roundhouse is Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> Sorry. Sandy. And our host Sam. How do? Yay! Noisy dog. As Wilbur. Oh. Wilbur. Don't get him, killer.